In this video I will talk about self-taught programmers. But before that please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So, let's get started. In a world where knowledge knows no boundaries and creativity has no limits, there exists a breed of programmers who defy traditional paths. They are the self-taught programmers, driven by curiosity, passion, and a hunger for mastering the art of coding. In this digital era, where technology shapes our everyday lives, the demand for skilled programmers continues to grow. And amidst this landscape, self-taught programmers emerge as unique trailblazers, carving their own path to success. Self-taught programmers are defined by their relentless pursuit of knowledge, their ability to adapt and evolve, and their unwavering determination to overcome challenges. They possess an insatiable curiosity, diving headfirst into the vast ocean of coding languages, frameworks, and algorithms. With no formal classroom setting, they rely on their resourcefulness, leveraging a myriad of online tutorials, forums, and open-source communities. Armed with dedication and a growth mindset, they embark on a journey of self-discovery, pushing the boundaries of their skills. What sets self-taught programmers apart is their ability to transform knowledge into action. They embrace project-based learning, building a portfolio of tangible accomplishments, breathing life into their ideas, and creating solutions that impact the world around them. Self-taught programmers are more than just individuals mastering a craft. They embody resilience, adaptability, and a hunger for continuous improvement. They redefine the notion of success, creating opportunities where none existed before. So, to all the self-taught programmers out there, fearlessly embracing the world of code, you are the embodiment of innovation, the architects of change, and the epitome of self-motivation. With each line of code, you redefine what is possible. This is the story of self-taught programmers, the relentless creators of tomorrow's digital landscape. In reality, many self-taught programmers are successful in their careers. However, there are challenges that some self-taught programmers may encounter. Here are some reasons why self-taught programmers might face difficulties and some recommendations for effective self-learning. Lack of structured learning. Without a well-defined curriculum or learning path, self-taught programmers may struggle to cover all necessary topics or develop a comprehensive understanding of programming. To address this, you can create a personalized learning plan by identifying key concepts and resources, such as online tutorials, textbooks, or coding boot camps, that provide a structured approach. Inconsistent learning. Self-paced learning requires discipline and consistency. Inadequate time commitment or irregular study patterns can impede progress. Setting specific learning goals, creating a study schedule, and allocating dedicated time for learning programming can help maintain consistency. Limited feedback and mentorship. Without feedback from experienced individuals, self-taught programmers may struggle to identify and correct their mistakes or improve their skills. Seeking out online communities, forums, or coding meetups can provide opportunities for receiving feedback and connecting with mentors or peers. Difficulty with complex concepts. Advanced programming concepts can be challenging to grasp without proper guidance. Supplement your learning with high-quality resources like textbooks, online courses, or video tutorials that offer clear explanations and examples. Practice coding exercises and projects to apply and solidify your understanding. Limited networking opportunities. Self-taught programmers may face challenges in building professional networks compared to those who attend traditional educational programs. To overcome this, participate in online programming communities, contribute to open-source projects, attend tech events, and engage in networking opportunities specific to your programming language or area of interest. Best practices for self-taught learning include setting clear goals, following a structured learning plan, leveraging a variety of resources, books, online courses, tutorials, building a portfolio of projects, seeking feedback and mentorship, practicing regularly, and staying up to date with industry trends. It is essential to combine theoretical knowledge with practical application through hands-on coding and real-world projects. 
Remember that successful self-taught programmers are motivated, persistent, and continuously adapt their learning strategies to overcome challenges and stay updated in the rapidly evolving field of programming. As a self-taught programmer, the right time to start applying for jobs can vary depending on several factors, including your skill level, knowledge, and project experience. Here are some indicators that can help you determine when to start applying for programming jobs. Solid understanding of foundational concepts. Ensure that you have a strong grasp of fundamental programming concepts, data structures, algorithms, and problem-solving techniques. These are essential building blocks for most programming roles. Practical project experience. Build a portfolio of projects that demonstrate your programming skills and problem-solving abilities. Having completed projects, even if they are personal or open-source contributions, can showcase your capabilities to potential employers. Confidence in your skills. Assess your proficiency and confidence in applying programming knowledge to real-world scenarios. Can you comfortably tackle coding challenges and solve problems independently? Confidence in your abilities is crucial for job applications. Continuous learning and improvement. Programming is a field that requires ongoing learning and staying updated with the latest technologies and trends. However, you should balance learning with practical application. Aim to strike a balance between expanding your knowledge and gaining hands-on experience. Networking and community engagement. Engage with programming communities, attend meetups, and participate in online forums. Networking can provide valuable insights into job opportunities and potential referrals from industry professionals. Once you feel comfortable with your skills and have a solid portfolio, it's a good time to start exploring job opportunities. Don't be discouraged if you face initial rejections or challenges. Persistence is key in the job search process. Keep refining your skills, seeking feedback, and expanding your network to increase your chances of success. Additionally, consider applying for entry-level or junior positions that align with your skill level and offer opportunities for growth and learning. These positions can provide valuable experience and a foundation to further develop your programming career. Staying focused while learning to code as a self-taught programmer is crucial for maintaining progress and achieving your goals. Here are some tips to help you stay focused during your coding journey. Set clear goals. Define specific and achievable goals for your learning process. Break them down into smaller milestones to make them more manageable and trackable. Having clear objectives will keep you motivated and focused on your progress. Create a learning schedule. Establish a consistent schedule for your coding practice. Determine dedicated time slots for learning and stick to them. Treating it like a regular commitment will help you develop a routine and avoid distractions. Minimize distractions. Create an environment that minimizes distractions. Find a quiet space where you can concentrate without interruptions. Turn off notifications on your phone or computer, close irrelevant tabs or applications, and prioritize your coding tasks. Practice active learning. Actively engage with the material you're studying. Avoid passive reading or watching tutorials without actively coding along. Take notes ask questions, and actively seek to understand the concepts by applying them in practice. Break down complex topics. When encountering complex programming concepts, break them down into smaller, more manageable parts. Focus on understanding each component before moving on to the next. Take the time to experiment and practice examples related to the concept to reinforce your understanding. Seek variety in learning resources. Utilize a variety of learning resources such as books, online courses, tutorials, and coding challenges. Different resources can provide alternative explanations and perspectives, helping you grasp concepts more effectively and stay engaged. Find a coding buddy or study group. Connecting with other self-taught programmers or joining study groups can provide motivation and accountability. Engaging in discussions, sharing knowledge, and collaborating on projects can make the learning process more enjoyable and rewarding. Take breaks and practice self-care. Remember to take regular breaks to avoid burnout. Allow yourself time to rest and recharge.
engaging in physical activity, practicing mindfulness, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance contribute to better focus and productivity. Celebrate achievements, recognize and celebrate your accomplishments along the way. Completing a project, solving a challenging problem, or acquiring a new skill are all significant milestones. Celebrating achievements can help maintain motivation and drive. Remember, learning to code is a journey that requires patience and persistence. By staying focused, maintaining a structured approach, and continuously practicing, you can make steady progress and achieve your programming goals. Project-based learning can be highly effective for self-taught learners and programming. Here's why project-based learning is beneficial and some tips for implementing it. Benefits of Project-Based Learning Practical Application Projects provide hands-on experience and allow you to apply theoretical knowledge to real-world scenarios. This helps solidify your understanding of programming concepts and develop problem-solving skills. Motivation and Engagement Working on projects that interest you can boost motivation and engagement. Having a tangible goal to work towards keeps you focused and invested in your learning process. Building a portfolio. Projects serve as evidence of your skills and can be included in your portfolio. Having a portfolio of completed projects showcases your abilities to potential employers and increases your chances of landing a job. Tips for project-based learning. Choose relevant projects. Select projects that align with your learning goals and interests. Consider projects that cover different aspects of programming, such as web development, data analysis, or mobile app development. Start with simpler projects and gradually increase their complexity as you progress. Break projects into smaller tasks. Break down each project into smaller, manageable tasks. This helps prevent overwhelm and allows you to tackle one step at a time. Prioritize the tasks and work on them incrementally completing each task before moving on to the next. Seek guidance when needed. While project-based learning encourages independent problem-solving, don't hesitate to seek guidance when you encounter difficulties. Online communities, forums, and coding mentorship programs can provide support and help you overcome challenges. Reflect and iterate. After completing a project, take time to reflect on what you've learned and identify areas for improvement. Refactor your code, seek feedback, and consider ways to enhance the project further. Iterating on your projects helps you refine your skills and deepen your understanding. Start small, then expand. Begin with small projects to build your confidence and understanding. As you gain more experience, gradually tackle more complex projects that push your boundaries. Learning from incremental challenges helps you grow as a programmer. Remember, Project-based learning is most effective when combined with a solid understanding of fundamental concepts. While working on projects, supplement your learning with additional resources such as tutorials, documentation, and online courses to fill any knowledge gaps. Embrace the opportunity to learn through practical application and enjoy the journey of creating meaningful projects. Thanks for watching.